today I'd like to talk with you about freedom. Lately I've been reading some Nietzsche, so I'll call this lecture Freedom Within Limitations. So the logical question that comes here, of course, is how could there be freedom within limits? Well, if you think about it, there is no ultimate freedom. It's a reverie, an illusion that's been propagandized by the commercial world for itself better. That's why so many movies have happy ends. It's not because it's something common in real life. It's because movies and books are the cheapest drugs for society. Because the typical, the general person has enough problems to deal with in his daily round. And when he comes back home late in the evening, he doesn't want to hear about anything negative anymore. He just wants to get his uh, one hour or two hours of happiness watching something positive on TV or reading a book. When I was younger, there was this guy who said to me, the point of life is not to be devoid of problems. The point of life is to teach us how to deal, how to cope with our problems. Because if you think about it, this is the only way to gain experience and to grow as a person. And once you embrace that, once you accept it, this is the only way and this is the moment when you can become ultimately free. No matter how successful or smoothly going a person might appear to you, we all have our difficulties, troubles, hardships and problems to deal with. It's just that some people don't show it to the rest of the world, for they have realized that's the natural order and they have embraced this idea. That's how they progress so smoothly in life. So in this part of the lecture I'm going to use myself as an example and illustrate some of the limitations around me and how fighting them made me stronger and uh, how I found my freedom. So to begin with, I've read some comments and received several emails of people saying they wish they had access to my gym because it looks awesome to them. Well, don't live with an illusions. Let me show you how my gym looks like. This is my gym. This is the entrance. And you can see that uh, the second door in the hallway is broken. And yeah, these bars actually form a door that has no lock on them. You gotta put a chain to lock them. And this is my gym also. And this, and this, and this. Some of my friends that have just recently started training in some fancy facilities have been saying that uh, to them my gym looks like as if I'm still in the Soviet Union era. Well, it's not far away from the truth, as most of the equipment still has this taxon they made in the USSR. But uh, you gotta understand one important thing. The gym is in your head. Because I don't see this ghetto atmosphere when I go for my workouts. I know that there is a bar, there are rings, and I just go and train myself. Because this is the place that adopted me when I was 16 because this is the place that I fought for, because this is the place where I grew to become one of the co-founders of the club, because this is the place that supported me when I was injured for one year and was restricted to even do simple things like push-ups, because it really went to become my second home and people inside would become part of my family. Whenever I feel depressed or bad-mooded, I could always find acceptance and support there and just go and sit to my first coach and just talk with her about the old times, about life and such. And uh, whenever you get to that point, you start seeing everything in a different light. The old equipment or the dirt are no longer things that you pay attention to. For the rings that I train on are 40 years old, but they do have a historical and sentimental value to me. For these rings are rings that have been touched by three Olympic gold medalists. And these are Stoyan Delchev, 1980, Moscow, Lyubomir Geraskov, 1988, Seoul, and Yurdan Yochev, 2004, Athens. And these are the rings that I worked my first muscle-up and front lever and iron cross on. It really is a great motivator to know that uh, you have the opportunity to use the same equipment, all these great athletes, before you have used. And I'll tell you what's the difference with the fancy gym facilities for me. Here's an example. Friday night, 9 o'clock, we're just, you know, doing cardio on the treadmills with a friend of mine, watching the boxing match on the LCD TV in front of us. 
and some girls dancing on the LCD TV next to it and something else on the LCD TV next to it. They were like the whole wall was with LCD TVs but it's just you know like leisure time and when I want when I train I want to push myself to the limits. I want to improve myself and uh, I'm too young to, to just go on a holiday in the gym and the poor training conditions have a lot to teach you. Training boxing every day in a gym that is so poor that he has no money to pay for the electricity bill for a heater. Training in an environment where the temperature is minus 7 degrees, just what the temperature is outside. Really serves like a slap around your face and uh, gets that spoiled character out of your temper. And you just learn to push yourself more and realize you can achieve a lot and uh, that comfort is just uh, an abstract illusion in your head. And then sometime later I go again to this fancy gym with LCD TVs and uh, strap 50 kilos uh, around my waist doing chin-ups and just sit on the side to rest between my, uh, my sets and then this guy comes in with straps on his arms and I'm like, what are these straps for dude? And he looks at me like I'm a complete newbie and says, you were these straps are for the pull-ups bar and he just straps around the pull-up bar to do 8 chin-ups you know with no weight on his waist or anything and he was my size, he wasn't overweight or something and then I felt embarrassed for him that I did uh, some chin-ups with 50 kilograms around my waist next so in this direction of thoughts it really becomes easy to see how the environment really puts some boundaries around you, how it puts some limits and uh, you really have to think outside of the box in order to keep progressing and to find the freedom within your limitations. So I'm curious at least, what are the limitations around you and what kind of freedom did you find?